Hey there guys, Kevin back here with another video and in today's video we have something I haven't done, well I guess I have done one in a while, but I haven't done this kind of special unboxing in a while and I basically got a package from Animate USA and actually come to think of it, I haven't done a video in this style in a while where you see my figures in the background. So finals are over and I am pretty much a little more free in terms of making videos so expect more videos to figure reviews etc etc from now on and what I've been doing actually for the past couple days is I actually yesterday night I returned from Maui, Hawaii. So I went on vacation with my family and we stayed there for about four days, four nights. And I just got back. And funnily enough, this morning, I, as soon as I got back, which was around 1 a.m., I finally arrived at home and knocked out. I went straight to work this morning. So yeah. And in the meantime, this package pretty much was arriving today. So as I was at work, this package was just waiting for me to uh, be unopened. I already unboxed the box. I right, pretty much cut the taping off. So without further ado, let's just see what's inside here. And just get the lid open and there is paper. And no, it's not Ami Ami, like I said, from Anime USA. Actually right here, but this sheet has my address on it, so if you catch a glimpse, spring of birth. So you probably would know what this is, and there it is. If you can see it, it is the Persona 3 movie for the Blu-ray. I think this is the actual box set, but so take it out of the shrink wrap. All right, guys. Well, I am back, and I just removed everything from the plastic shrink wrap. Um, bear in mind, I again, I pre-ordered this from the Animate USA website, so they were offering an exclusive deal where they threw in some bonus content, which pretty much this is the Blu-ray DVD set, and this right here is the additional stuff that Animate USA was just throwing in there. So I will cover the... let's cover that tapestry, which... I don't know if I could call this a tapestry because it's like, this is the first time I've ever seen something like this before. It's like a wall scroll, but it's a clear poster wall scroll. So this is a B3 size poster, which I really don't know the precise dimensions for it. And there you go, you see the protagonist for Persona 3. I believe in the movie he's called Makoto Yuki and in the manga, or more canon towards the story, the protagonist is known as Minato Arisato. So there's Persona 3, number one Spring of Birth. So that's pretty much saying that the move, there's gonna be three parts to this movie. So this is the first part, and they're coming out with another one called, it's, it's like a play on uh, that one Shakespearean play. Midnight Summer's Dream or something. It's mid Midsummer Night's Dream or something. I mean, I don't know what it's called, but that's where basically the um, I believe Kotomaru the dog and I guess makes her debut. So there's the clear poster. It's pretty nice and fairly somewhat large actually for. I, I just want to call it a tapestry, but it's it's really, I don't know, it's not, it's nothing cloth-like cloth about it, but 
Here's the other additional accessory. I spent too much time on that. And this is the, um, I'm not really sure what's in here actually, but we do see the Jack Frost sticker. Uh, I was just lying. But there's the back. I can't read Japanese sadly, so I'm gonna work on it eventually so I can speak three languages. I already know two. Oh, wow. Huh, okay. So it's like a booklet, almost similar to, well, okay, so it's not really a book book, but it's kind of like a, oh, wow, schnapps. Wow, so it's not like an actual book, but it's more like a, like a book case kind of thing. Kind of like um, Snow Miku 2014, where she comes with a book. This is kind of like the same concept but we can see the bonus content that they give, Anime USA gives, is this Persona Compendium Key, if that's what it was called, I forgot. It's a gold color and a rubber keychain of Elizabeth. So there's that and Somewhat secure box, I'd say. I mean, there's the spine. With some, I don't know what appears to be a leaf symbol, and I'm gonna put this foam back inside the book. But there's the somewhat booklet, I guess. I will be setting this aside, and we will be moving on to the actual stuff, which is the Blu ray itself. But before I move on, it came with this. English translation booklet on the top, which I think it has the script in English, of course. Um, I don't think I'm really gonna go through it, but yeah, it's gonna be annoying because I have to adjust the focus ring for every single page, so just a quick breeze, comments by cast, etc. And it has a soundtrack. Um, the songs in it, so. And the composer, of course, Shoji Meguro. The same guy that pretty much composes most of the, I believe, I wouldn't say Persona series, but I think just all the Shin Megami Tensei stuff. So, let's see. The main attraction, the actual Blu ray disc. And let me just get it to focus. There you go. Silver lettering, you can see it. And it came with this, I, most of the Japanese Blu-ray DVDs that you buy, they come with this little paper back cover, which I usually keep these just somewhere else. So setting that aside and underneath was this, which I am not sure what it is, but it says Memento Mori, which is a famous, I don't know if it's a quote, but it's just something that really pops up in Persona 3. It's just something, a term or a statement that's used a lot in Memento Mori, which basically means remembering about death. Basically it says, remember you will die. So what is this exactly? It's something. Okay, what is that? That's Thanatos, but what is this? I have no idea what this, is this a sticker? A keychain? Huh. I really have no idea what this is. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Bear in mind that this is not the, I'm not gonna be reviewing the box set. I will make a separate video where I'll make it all tacky and cinematic like my other figure reviews, but this is just a quick unboxing, which I think I've been rambling on for a little too long to actually make it quick. So let's cover it again. Front, there's the front. You can see the protagonist. Right there. And then here is the spine. 
Persona 3 movie, Spring of Birth. And it is P3. And then here is the back. Again, Persona 3, Spring of Birth, Memento Mori, and it has some sort of thing. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. And there's the Dark Hour, which is very small text, so you probably can read it now. So if you want to pause the video and just take a look at it, go ahead. Otherwise, let's move on. So there's the other side. Well, pretty much where the DVD case or the DVD will be. Here's the top. Like a blue gradient, but we pretty much we pretty much get the concept of this design of the box set. So there it is, and let's take the contents out. And ooh. What's this piece of paper? Okay, well, this is advertising. This just came out of the just sandwich in there. It's advertising the RPG game for the Persona series, Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth for the 3DS, which is pretty much a crossover between P4 and P3 and at the same time adding two new characters, which I believe it's this girl and the guy with the crossbow. I've been really keeping up to Atlas's YouTube videos where they release these trailers. So there's that. Definitely getting this game for sure. This is a must for me. I already pre-ordered on AmiAmi Ami this 3DS case with the Persona Q and I also pre-ordered the Persona Q soundtrack. And then there's another game that I'm looking forward to, Persona 4 Ultimax Suplex Hold, which is pretty much uh, the sequel to Persona 4 Arena. And there is a airplane going off in the background, which I apologize. I live close to like a city airport, if you guys are wondering why there's airplane noises sometimes in my video. And it's very obnoxious. So, enough with that. Okay, this is cool. What is this exactly? I have no idea what this is. Um, it came with this little thing. I don't know what it is, but it is in its plastic wrap. So let's take it out and find out what exactly it is. Oh gosh, what is this? It's like ripping apart. I do not want to damage it. So let's. It's, it's, it looks like what appears to be a booklet. Oh, never mind. It's just a little, f I think, f I wouldn't say files, but like just little pieces of cardstock paper, I guess. Printouts of the Persona 3 movie. I'm not sure if they use these as a poster. They probably did, who knows. So there's that, and then here's another one. And people really love flying their planes around. There's Thanatos. There's the there's also backs for these. I'm assuming now oh, there's an evoker, so I'm assuming someone's releasing their persona. There's the whole gang, you can see them. Otherwise. Here is Maga, um, the protagonist releasing Morpheus, the protagonist persona. There's that, and finally we get to move on to the actual stuff. So here is the cover, which was inside this, which, okay, there's nothing inside. All right, so that's all. Again, really cool shot. We see the dark hour moon, and we see the persona, the protagonist releasing his persona. All right, then, um, hmm, there's the spine, but there's really nothing on it. It's just continuing off the design, so let's just pop it open, which some stuff fell out, so excuse me. All right, so the stuff that fell out, 
apologize for that. Didn't expect that actually. So there is this little poster thingy. Just a little ad, very thin paper. For Persona 3, the weird masquerade. I'm not sure if this is like a live action movie. I don't think it is. It's probably just some like little concert, but. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Um, whatever that was. I mean, there's just a bunch of people playing as the characters, almost like a live action. Here's this, just a random piece of paper in Japanese. Can't read it. Moving on, here's this with a barcode. I'm not sure what this is. I'm assuming this is one of those like register your product online, some sort. And then here's a flyer for Yumi Kawamura, who is pretty much, I think she sang Persona 2's opening and some of the songs in there, but she's like, she is pretty much the one that sings the majority of the Persona 3 soundtrack. And there's her profile, and that's who she is. So yeah, the singer for Persona 4, and I think this is the album for her stuff, which it has like a like an animated drawing of her, which is pretty cool. But the singer in Persona 4 is someone else. I forgot her name, but I've seen, I think, the Velvet Room concert, which is on YouTube. They do like a duo, which actually I wish I was there, but yeah, both the Persona 4 and Persona 3 singers do a little duo kind of take, which I think they do work with each other quite a lot. So here is the soundtrack CD actually, has all the songs in there. You can see that, More Than One Heart is the main Persona 3 movie theme that a lot of people hear in the trailers a lot, so. And I'm assuming this is the movie DVD. So, Memento Mori. That's just all over P3, dude. That's just everywhere. In fact, funnily enough, yeah, funnily enough, it's on the, my arcade stick with the Mitsuru Kirijo on it. On the back of it, I, I slapped on Memento Mori, so. <laughs> You know, it's it's just um, it's something that Persona 3 is really it has. It's like its motto, per Memento Mori. So you do kind of see a P and a three. So there's the Blu-ray disc. Anywho, um, this video was kind of long, longer than it should have been. But granted, there's the other bonuses that I got. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, again, it's been a while since. I've actually made a video because I just got off vacation and just finished finals. So from now on I should start cracking out uh, figure reviews to a more in-depth review for this. This is just a quick look through on what you get. I probably will not be showing these in my review for this Blu-ray. Also keep in mind, um, I also have the Puella Magi Madoka Magica the Rebellion Story Blu-ray, and I will be reviewing that also, so look out for that. Anywho guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys can leave a comment down below, suggestions, or any questions regarding this video to this Blu-ray DVD, then feel free. Now for, again, new viewers, if you guys, if this is the first time you guys are stumbling upon my video, then please check out my channel and check out my other videos. And if you guys can, it would be greatly appreciated if you could hit that subscribe button as all it takes is just a click. So as always, see you guys in the next video.